Hi, my name is Anthony Stans, and I'm a pediatric orthopedic surgeon here at the Mayo Clinic. Uh, this morning I'll be talking a little bit about uh, leg calvae perthes disease, or sometimes referred simply as perthes disease. Perthes disease is a condition in which the blood supply to the ball of the hip joint is lost. Uh, we don't understand exactly why that occurs. People have looked at many different possible causes, uh, but no one's ever been able to conclusively determine why the blood supply is lost. It typically occurs in patients between ages 2 and 10, and it occurs uh, twice often in boys as it does in girls. Um, the treatment of perthes depends on two primary uh, factors or variables. Uh, one is the patient's age at the onset of the condition, and the second is the extent of involvement or collapse of the ball. Children who are young, say less than age 5 or so, as a rule, tend to have a uh, much more favorable outcome than older patients and need less aggressive treatment. And so for younger patients, we typically recommend modifying their activity, avoiding repetitive pounding impact types of activities. We'll often prescribe physical therapy to help preserve their hip range of motion. And we'll use anti-inflammatory medications uh, and sometimes Tylenol to control their pain. Uh, older children, unfortunately, have a less favorable outcome. Uh, they're less able to heal the Perthes disease on their own uh, and often benefit from more aggressive treatment. Sometimes bracing or casting will be used, uh, and on occasion, uh, surgery is recommended as well. Uh, for kids age 7 and older, there's an increasing uh, body of evidence to, to suggest that surgical treatment may be beneficial. Uh, the surgery can take one of several forms. It can be an operation on the femur or the bone attached to the ball of the hip, or it can be surgery on the pelvis on the socket side of the hip joint. Uh, here at Mayo, we often do surgery uh, on both the femur and the pelvis, so both the ball and the socket side. And in a study, uh, when compared to children who had brace treatment alone, had a much more favorable outcome. There are some new promising treatment for, treatments for per, uh, Perthes disease uh, that will potentially evolve into the future. Currently there is research being done on using medications to prevent the ball from collapsing. Uh, right now these studies are in the planning phase, uh, but we're working with a medical center from Dallas, Texas, uh, and investigating the possibility of becoming involved in a multi-center study uh, to uh, test some of these medications. Here at the Mayo Clinic we have considerable experience treating uh, Perthes disease in all of its phases uh, and uh, in all um, levels of bone collapse. Uh, we can offer uh, the um, non-surgical treatment as well as surgical treatment for Perthes disease and we're investigating the possibility of being able to enroll future patients in uh, medical treatment for this condition. Thank you for your time and attention.